Hello friends, Cheryl here with Ink Pulp, and it's time for another video sale. I've had several ladies ask me for napkins again, and so I thought I would come on and um, go through. I've got about 150 different styles, so uh, bear with me. There's lots of napkins here, but we'll go quickly through them. Um, as a reminder, if you're new to a video sale, I will show you, for example, this has 100 on it. This is gonna be lot 100. Um, if you want this napkin, what you will do in the comments is say lot 100. Um, well, if you just say lot 100, then I will assume you want one set, or you can tell me one set. So they sell in sets of three for a dollar for each pattern. So you have to buy the same pattern. So three of this pattern, three of another. I don't combine one of this pattern, one of another, and one of another. It just gets too complicated. So three for a dollar. If you only want one or two, um, you know, if you're going to get two, you might as well get three because it's the same price. So, but if you only want one, then it's just 50 cents. So in your comments, I will assume that you are ordering by sets of three, unless you tell me differently. You know, if you say lot 101 or lot 100, one only, or single napkin or something like that, then I'll know you just want one. Um, what else do I need to tell you? I will, it, I will send you an invoice through Square, as I always do. If you are new to my channel, please send me an email, look in the description box, um, send me an email to inkedpulp at gmail.com and send me your name, your mailing address, and your email address. And that way I can invoice you and ship your napkins. Um, I think that's all there is to it. Let's get started. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, oh, I do want to say one other thing. So some of these napkins I have very limited quantity on. Most of them I have quite a bit. But uh, as you're watching, because there's 150 different styles, if you want to put in a comment after like the first five or ten and say, you know, here's my order, and then watch some more and put another comment in, that's fine by me. You can do that. Um Lastly, email orders. You can send me an order via email. However, those orders will be processed after all of the other orders on the comments on the video because I process them first come, first serve. And I don't have any way of knowing if you email me, I don't know where you fall in that order. So I would process all of my online comments and then I would process email orders. So the best way for you to make sure that you, um, you know, get your, what you want is to do a comment on the video rather than um, sending me an email. All right, with that, let's get going. So here's lot 101. This is one of the tall luncheon napkins. I've seen them called guest towels. Um, but it's got the same pattern on all sides. Okay. Very pretty in pinks and yellows. Very nice for the spring. So that is lot 101. I have plenty of these. And then lot 102 is the seahorse. I have lots of these as well. I bought a whole, I, I bought some napkins wholesale and I had to buy a whole case to do that. So I've got plenty of these. It's a cute little seahorse and you get six of them in the napkin. Okay, and that is lot 102. Now, let me also say this, you notice there was no lot 101. Be careful when you're ordering and listen to my lot numbers because some I sold out of, so I don't have that lot anymore. So this seahorse is lot 102. Lot 103 is the bicycle. Isn't that cute? It's got it on the two middle panels, but not the side panels. Okay, and that is lot 103. Okay. 
lot 104, I am limited. I only have five of this one left. This is lot 104. And it is the sea life with coral and shells. Um, it does have some postage um, images on there and some text. Very pretty napkin, but I only have five of these and that's lot 104. Lot 105, um, soon enough we'll be into the fall and the Halloween stuff. So lot 105 is, um, it doesn't have to be for Halloween if you're into the gothic um, thing or want to make a gothic journal. This would be perfect. It's Creatures of the Night. Um, nothing says Halloween on it, but it is a Halloween napkin if you're into a Halloween uh, journal. So that one is lot 105. And again, the napkins are three for a dollar for the same pattern or um, 50 cents a piece if you only want one. All right. Sunflowers with blue checks on the bottom. This is lot 107. Lot 107. Lot 108 are, I think these are chrysanthemums. I'm not positive. Or are they sunflowers? They might be sun. They're sunflowers. What am I thinking? Chrysanthemums. Uh, this is lot 108. Now, this is the tall luncheon. I do have a little cocktail napkin that matches this later on. Um, so if, you know, I don't know if you want to get one or the other or both. Um, I'll have that other one coming up. This is lot 108. Lot 109, and I am somewhat limited on this. I don't have unlimited quantities of this. But I've probably got, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, I've got like 13 of these. Um, and they are gorgeous. Dragonflies. Blue dragonflies on a white background. And that is lot 109. Lot 110 is this one. Very pretty. And there we go. Lot 110. Okay, that's all of the tall napkins that I have. I'm going to go on now to the uh, square luncheon napkins. Oh. This first one up is one of my favorites. It's the bee gnome. And you get four of them. And it's the square pattern, the large square. This is lot 111. Lot 112, and I have lots of the bee gnome. And I have lots of this one as well. This is lot 112. This has got to be one of my favorite napkins with the plums and just the blue. I, I, I thought those were hydrangeas, but I don't think they are. They look more like a cabbage rose, but I don't think cabbage roses are blue. But anyway, the blues and the reds, and it's just a really pretty napkin. And again, that one is 112. Lot 113, if you watch any other of my napkin videos, you've heard me say this, for you ladies who are watching your carbs and you don't want to eat carbs, you can get your carbs through crafting. This is lot 113, 113, and it's all about breads and pretzels and, you know, text on there. So 
lots of fun if you're doing a cooking journal or a food journal or I don't know any kind of journal really that would be a lot of fun so that's lot 113 oh here's another one of my favorites I have a lot of 113 um, I have several of those I have several of this one as well and this is lot 114 look at the wildflowers and vases aren't those just adorable you could you know cut those out and do individual vases you could do them all together very very pretty that is lot 114 oh and here's another one I have a lot of these come from Germany by the way the ones where I'm saying I have a lot of them um, they come from Germany another one of my favorites lot 115 this one I'm actually going to hold it up a little bit closer because I think it looks like embroidery it's obviously not but with the texture in that it looks like embroidery to me but very very pretty pretty much unlimited quantities and lot 115 116 is another one that I have a lot of and it's another one of my favorites it's in the garden so if you're doing a gardening journal you gotta have this one there are so many little elements on here that you could you know the trick of taking the water brush and going around something so that it just tears apart I mean you could or you could cut them but it looks better if you if you tear but yeah you could um, remove individual little elements take one panel and you know break it down into individual elements or use the napkin as a whole and that is lot 116 116 117 um i think this is my last package of these so there's 20 in here so this is not one of the german napkins but this is lot 120 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I retract that it is not lot 120, it's 117, and it's a purple marble, and you get, you know, the same image on all four sections, and again, this is lot 117, 117. Okay, this is lot 118, two, four. I only have five of these left. So the first five who want them, get them. Remember, everything is first come, first serve. But just look at that with the beehive, a couple of beehives and lots of flowers and, um, you know, some little bumblebees. Just really cute in the purples. Again, that's 118, and I only have five of those left. Lot 119 is another one if you're into the Gothic or Halloween. This is your napkin. It's just full of skulls and flowers. Pink and purple flowers and black background and lots of skulls. And that is Lot 119. Okay, this is lot 120, and I only have one of these left, one set. I have three total. So first person to claim 120 gets it. Okay, that is lot 120. Pretty, I don't know what kind of bird that is, but very pretty. And so you get two different patterns. If you see this pattern has this bird on it here, and the flowers in this arrangement. The other side has a bird where you see a lot more of the chest and the flowers are a different arrangement. So you get two of each design on this. Okay, that again is lot 120 and I only have one set left. All right, this is lot 121, and I am limited on this one too, but let's see, two, four, six, 
8, 10, 12, 14. I only have 16 left of these. Okay, this is all about lavender. And you get the same pattern on four different panels. Okay, that is lot 121. Lot 122, if you're into the nautical, and this one I have lots. This is another one of the German napkins. I've got the Lifesavers. That would be pretty on a nautical or a summer journal or an at-the-beach journal. Uh, lots of things you can do with that one. That's lot 122. Lot 123 is along the same lines, only this is the oars that go with the boat. So if nautical is your thing or beach or summer, and then behind, I don't know if you can see in the pattern, there is a fishing net. Okay, and then you get the compass also on there. So that one is lot 123. Okay, lot 124, and hang on, I need to mark this because Lot 124 is this one that says love. It's got a flower. It's got a kind of a mustardy background. It's really pretty. But I do want to show you one thing um, because you may or may not like this. I like it. But do you see the love? Whoops. Almost looks like, you know, when you stamp and you kind of move it, there is a shadow behind the letters and that's intentional. Um, but I want you to see that before you order so you know what you're getting. And I'm getting low on these as well. Two, four, six, eight. I only have nine of these left. Some of these I can reorder if I need to. Um, and some of them not because I have to order such huge quantities. All right, 125 is one of my favorite napkins, and I have quite a few of them here, but when this pack is gone, they're gone. And it looks like I may have 12 or 15 of these. This is one of my favorite napkins, and um, the reason I say that is that it looks like suede to me in the back. It's very rich looking, and it's a couple of different shades of like a rust and then the gold. I guess this is a damask, um, but the rusty colors, it just, when you look at it, it, it just looks rich and it looks like um, suede back there. So that is lot 125. Okay, lot 126, I only have two, four, I only have six of these, and it is the fox on a little pink napkin and you get four of them. Okay. You get that little bitty fox in there. That is lot 126. And again, um, I only have two sets left. All right, let's move on. To the next box. I have a few more of the large square and then we'll move into the cocktail napkins. So lot 127, two, four, five. I think I have seven of these left is all. So this one's getting very low as well. And it is the night sky with stars. What a great background that would make, wouldn't it? Look at all those beautiful stars. Okay, that's lot 127, and again, I'll remind you, all napkins are three for a dollar if you buy three of the same pattern, or 50 cents each if you want, um, you know, just one. Because if you buy two, you might as well get three. Same price. All right. This is another really pretty background napkin. Look at that, grays. Um, and taupe in there and kind of a cream color. Just really, really, really pretty. 
it up for you a little bit. So that is lot 128. That's weird. That's out of order. Lot 130. This is, I really like this one too. It's so pretty. You get, it's all black and white, and you get the four circles. And four of them. And that is lot 130. Now, bear with me one second. I have to look back. at my numbers because um, I don't know if I had a 110. This one got filed back in the box in the wrong order. So we're going to call this 110A just to make sure that I'm not but I didn't already have a 110. So this is 110A. It's another damask with the black background and the gold. Um, again, another pretty background napkin. Okay, that's lot 110A. All right, 131 is, and I have quite a few of these. These are not the German napkins, so I don't have unlimited, but I have quite a few. Um, these are the flamingos. There are two poses for these flamingos. You get the one with him tucking his head, and then the two flamingos out and about, and you get two of each pattern on this. Okay, so that's going to be 131 with the flamingos. Lot 132 is this succulents. This is another one I really like. Now this one I'm getting low on. I only have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I only have 18 of these, so I have six sets left of these. A lot of these I bought, you know, I found them in other places and I would buy like two packages and now I'm getting down to the end on some of these. So this is the succulents, um, two patterns again. You have one with the pink as the focal and one with the tealy blue color as the focal and then it doubles on the other side. So that is lot 132. Lot 133, um, I am limited on this one as well, but it looks like there's quite a few in there, so we should be okay. Look at how pretty that is. And this pattern goes across, so if you want to do something long or even tall, because you could, you know, run this up, so if you want to put this on like a journal cover, um, the pattern goes across, or you could divide it into fours, and then the pattern on the other side is different. Different but the same. Same colors, just different layout. Okay, so you have this pattern, and you have this pattern. All right, and that's lot 133. Lot 134, oh, we're coming up on summertime. If you're doing a summertime journal and you want something fun or you're making a greeting card, I have some watermelons. Now, it's only on this front panel. The other panel is white and the other side is white, although you do get the cute little border. Okay? That one is Lot 134. Lot 135, um, and I'm getting low on these, but I have, I mean, this is the last I have of them, but I have quite a few in there, so we should be okay on those, and those are the pink, there's a bright, bright pink, and then a one that's still bright, but more of the, more of the reddish pink, 
and then you have the little clusters all around the outside okay so same pattern on each of the four corners all right that's lot 135 Lot 136, this is a popular one, and I am getting really low on it. Um, but I probably have about 20 in there. So I should be able to, to fill. This is Girl in Paris with her pink poodle, her pink dress, her pink hat, accented in black and white polka dot purse. So... Um, you get all four, the, they're on, you know, they rotate, but it's the same image on all four sides. So this one is called Girl in Paris, and it's lot number 136, number 136. And just a reminder, if you came into this sale a little bit later, or scrolled ahead, um, three of the same pattern for a dollar, four fifty cents a piece for quantities less than three all right this so I have a pack of 20 and these two so I only have 22 these have been really popular too I only have 22 left of these and it's owls and birds and so you could cut these into individual squares you could use them you know as a whole I've got one two three four birds and then the rest are all owls isn't that cute? So if you're an owl person, this napkin's for you. And that is lot 137. All right. Lot. Let's see it written on here. Um, but it's lot 138. And let me. Make sure I have that number on there. If you're a coffee lover, this is all coffee beans. And then different, this one says uh, Macchiato Cafe Ale, um, Macchiato Espresso. So just different cappuccino, different um, types of coffee drinks on there. And then the coffee beans. Lot 138. Lot 139. This is a really pretty napkin. If you like your blues. Same on all four panels. It is. This reminds me of the shiplap or the beadboard that you put down. I have it in my bathroom. I guess it's more like a beadboard. That's what that reminds me of at the bottom. A little bow um, on the top and then your roses in there. All done in shades of blue and white. Very pretty. Lot 139. All right. We're getting down to the last of the big napkins. This one is lot 140 and I am limited on this one. I only have... One, two, four, six, eight, nine. So I only have three sets of these. Is that not the cutest napkin shaped like a shirt? And then on the back is her hair coming down. So you could, you could, you know, cut this part out and put on the front of a tag. And then you could put this on the back of a tag or a journal card. Um, but here's what it's like all... unfolded okay now I got to see if I can get this thing back together I think that's the first time I ever took it all the way apart um, nope these go oh my word Anyway, I'll look at it with another one. I can't, I'm spatially challenged. I can't get that back together. But it's the shirt and then the hair on the back. And that is lot 140. And again, I only have three lots of those left. 
Um, this one I've got about 23 left, but it's real pretty. It's black with, and some of these are only two ply. I think this one's a two ply napkin, which is nice. You only have to take one off. Black background with pink and red roses and yellow, whatever these flowers are, and lots of greenery. Okay, that is lot 141. Lot 142. And I'm limited on this one, but I think I have close to 20. But that's it. Is another flamingo. Okay, this one is two different patterns again. You see you have this guy with um you know this plant in front of him, and then you have this guy with the banana leaf in front of him okay so that's and you get two of each of those so that one again is 142 flamingos okay two more 143 i love this and i sort of i ran across these in a where did i get these i think i found them in a thrift shop maybe and I snapped them right up. Look at how cute. This is going to be lot 143. And it's the pastry. The French. It's got Paris, France here. And French writing. Established 1953. Um, and it's tart au citron. And I know I don't have the French accent. So it's a citrus tart. It's like lemon. And then the last of this size, getting you ready. I know we haven't even had summer yet, but fall is coming eventually. Um, you get these trucks and you get it on all four sides. Okay, you get the red truck with the pumpkins. And then the nice fall border. All right, that's the last of those. Now let's look at the little cocktail napkins and then we will wrap it up. Okay, lot 145. This is a small cocktail napkin with only a picture on the very front. And this is uh, the Greenbrier, it's called. And it's the Greenbrier at, oh, it's just the Greenbrier in West Virginia. Okay, and then it's white on the other side. So um, you just get this one image, but what a pretty image it is. And that is lot 145. Okay. Lot 146, if you're a golfer or have golfers in your life, this one is on all four sides. Or if you're just doing a sports journal um, or a man's journal, this would go pretty in. Um, this one's all about golf. And you could tear out individual, like these little shoes would be cute in the bottom corner of a little page or a notebook or something. So you could, you know, take individual images or the whole thing. That is lot 146. Lot 147 is this one. This is another fall. I think I have a few fall in these little sizes. Um, and it's give thanks with pumpkins and chrysanthemums and a little wreath there. Okay, that is lot 147. Ooh, I have a lot of those, so uh, no worries, I'm running out of those. All right, The next one, lot 148, is also a fall napkin. Got all the pumpkins. Okay, got white, green, and orange pumpkins. And it does cross over the seams, or not the seams, but the folds. So you could use this as one big continuous piece, or you can cut it down into sections. Okay, that's lot 148. 
lot 149 now here is the cocktail napkin you remember the sunflower one i showed you guys earlier the big tall one this is the same thing in the cocktail napkin so this is lot 149 i love that one right in the middle there and let me see lot 108 was the tall one okay it's the same thing it's just one is tall and this one is the cocktail so 108 is the tall napkin 149 is the cocktail all right those of you ladies who are watching here we go i've got a few of these i've got a whole pack of 20 and then a few more but these have been fun. Actually, I had several packs of these. I found these at a, um, I think, a thrift store. And the writing is only on two panels, but you get the animal print pattern on both. And then you get the brown, so you could decorate that. But look what it says. Coffee, chocolate, men. Some things are just better rich. So I thought that was cute. So that one is lot 150. All right, 151 is another fall napkin. Again, with pumpkins, but this time with the sunflowers. And you have green pumpkins, orange pumpkins, and then lots of sunflowers. Okay, that is lot 151. Oh, one of my favorites. This probably is a fall, but... I think you could use it for a farm journal. This would be cute in. Um, it is lot 152, and instead of a red truck, we have a green truck full of sunflowers. So I think that would be cute in a farm journal. Okay, that's lot 152. Lot 153, this one's pretty. I have two full packs and then more, so I have plenty of these. Um, but the colors are just gorgeous. Now, these are for a bridal shower. However, you could, you know, cut that out and have this whole pattern um, to put on something. And I just think those colors are gorgeous. And then you get, you know, some with just the blue that you could, you know, put other things on top of, decorate those panels. So, bride-to-be that is lot 153. All right. Lot 154 is this really pretty tulip. This is from Hallmark. Um, but it's got four of the tulips on there. Aren't those pretty for a spring journal? That would be really pretty. That is lot 154. Lot 155, again, we have the Halloween slash Gothic. Doesn't have to be for Halloween, although that's what it was intended for. It could be, you know, Gothic as well. And you have the skulls with the flowers around the sides. And that has got, I don't know if you can see the colors on camera. Um, it's got a black background and then it's got some patterning with roses um, in a dark blue. The skull and the roses around the skull are also dark blue ink. Okay, so it's black and a very dark blue. And that is lot 155. Okay, uh, lot 156. And I don't know... I know this hand has a name, and I know it's often done in henna. I don't know the name of it, but really pretty. And it's, you know, same thing on all four panels. All right, that is lot 156. All right, a couple more. And then we'll wrap up. All right, these are already in lots of three 
I had them all packaged up. They are fall leaves, and it's, um, I believe, on all four corners. I used to prepackage my stuff, and yeah. Oh, no, it's only on two sides. So you get leaves on those two panels, and then the back is white. Okay, so you get two panels on that one. And that is... I don't have a lot number for that. Um, let's call it Lot F like Frank, L like Larry for fall leaves. It's going to be Lot FL if you want one of those because I didn't have... Just make sure I mark them. All leaves. All right. Lot FL. F like Frank, L like Larry. Here's another one that is Halloween slash Gothic. And it's got the skull sitting on top of some books, and the books, and it's on all four sides. The books are fortune telling, palmistry, and a spell book. And you've got a pumpkin. And lots of butterflies Oops, around the skull. Let me pull it back down into camera a little more. Okay, that is lot 157. That's it. Well, let me throw this one out since I have it here. And I know it's long gone, but if you want to think ahead, um, you might want to order now or I'll bring them back out next year. This is going to be... One fifty-eight, and it's Valentine's Day with the red truck and the flowers in the back of the truck and it's on all four sides so if you're interested in getting a head start on Valentine's Day napkins lot 158 all right ladies and gents um that's it I am through all the napkins I hope that didn't uh take too long and um, just again comment let me know what you want and we'll get moving on packing your order and getting it out to you thank you so much um, please give a thumbs up if you would and I will catch you later bye